Hey everybody, I'm Jonathan Folsom. Let's talk cotton defoliation, a two-part video series. Today, this video, we're gonna focus on when to defoliate, how to know when your crop is mature. And the next video, we'll follow up with how to get the most, the most bang for your buck when you're defoliating cotton. What's How to tweak that recipe, how to get the best results. But first, we're gonna talk about today, when is it ready? How do I know when my cotton's ready? And the reason uh, I wanna focus on this is I've been driving around the Texas Panhandle quite a bit the last few weeks, and I've seen way too much cotton that's mature, ready to be defoliated, and nothing's being done. And, you know, unfortunately, guys are busy, producers are harvesting, you know, grain crops, and, and, that, and that's good. Um, but I'm afraid what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a freeze in the forecast, and the, oh, hey, you know, we better defoliate the cotton and get that ready to go. So, um, but we don't have to wait for a freeze. We don't have to wait till the freeze in the forecast. So how do you know when your cotton's ready? Well, there's three time-tested methods on, on cotton to determine when it's ready, when the cotton's mature. First one is four nodes above cracked bowl method. Second one is 60% open bowls. And the third method is the cut test. Take a knife and cut some of the uppermost bowls. But let's start with that four nodes above cracked bowl. So what does that what does that mean? So go out and find you a cotton plant and find the uppermost cracked bowl. So I've took this plant, I stripped the leaves off of it so we can illustrate this these purposes here. So the it's not a very good cotton plant, but it's great for this description here. So uppermost cracked bowl. Actually, this plant just has one cracked bowl, but this is the uppermost cracked bowl. So we're gonna use this, this is gonna be zero, node zero for fruiting branches. We're gonna count the number of fruiting branches, harvestable fruiting branches that we think are gonna contribute to yield above that. So we're gonna say there's one, two, three, four. So this guy is number four. So all four, so basically we've got five fruiting nodes of harvestable fruit. Um, first one's cracked. Let's see if the second one cracks. I can squeeze it gently and it'll crack, then I'll count it as a cracked bowl. But it's not cracking on me. Um, so I'm not gonna count it as a cracked bowl because I gotta squeeze way too hard. So this is, that's how to, that's how to do it. So once you have a cracked bowl, you know that the four nodes above that will have mature cotton. So let's, let's cut that open and see what it looks like. This uppermost bowl, it's four nodes above cracked bowl. So it should be it should be mature. So this is this is the cut test method that I like to use to validate our um, to validate whether or not those open bowls, I mean the the top bowls are mature and ready for harvest. But be careful. Make sure you use a sharp knife, but make sure you're really careful. I don't want you to come to me and say you cut yourself because I told you to. So um, I'll give you a little trick here. If you put your finger offset of the blade you're a whole lot less likely to cut your finger. So slice through that uppermost bowl there, and it's pretty tough, and look at that. So what do we get? So we have fully developed seeds. Those cotyledons inside that um, seed are fully developed. The seed coat is not really dark, but the seed itself is fully developed and so we know the fiber is, is fully developed. There's no water, there's no clear liquid or, or jelly, you know, within those, those bowls. And um, so anyway, so that is a mature bowl. So we know that we're not gonna give up any yield or sacrifice quality by defoliating this cotton right now. So what would that look like? I wanna show you the, what I'm saying on the, uh, the seed coat. So as you see this, Second, the, the one of these more mature bowls at the bottom. So the seeds are, are mature, but that seed coat has a dark, darkish ring around it. And you'll anytime you see that dark ring around that seed coat, that you know that bowl is fully mature, and you can defoliate that. All right. So what about a plant that's a little bit bigger? It's got more on it. So how do we how do we evaluate this cotton? So this cotton, okay, so first of all, this first branch, this, this again, I cleaned this up for, for our production purposes here. So this branch off to the side is a vegetative branch. It has a couple of bowls on it. So we'll use the cut test. We'll, we'll check the maturity on those because they will not fall into the proper pattern of, you know, nodes above cracked bowl. So we'll find the first open bowl 
and see if the next one above that cracks open. Oh, listen to this, it's gonna crack open. I can just tell by the color. Yep, I love that sound. All right, so we got that one to crack open. I squeezed it gently. So this is my, so we've got an open bowl, and then the next one up is our uppermost cracked bowl. So we'll count the fruiting branches that have harvestable fruit above that. So let's start from here. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this guy up here, that's seven. So seven nodes above cracked bowl. That's not mature. Let's dig, it in, dig into it and see what he looks like. Again, be really extremely careful that you don't just slice into these bowls too aggressively because you might get one that's really soft and watery and it'll just cut through like butter. All right, so, well, surprise, surprise. This is more mature than I expected. What did we say? It was like seven nodes above cracked bowl. So you can't probably tell very good on the camera here, but I'll, I'll um, pull it out anyway. So that the seed is mostly developed. There's a little bit of that cotyledon, that, that seed that's not fully developed yet. Just a little bit of watery, uh, clear liquid, kind of a uh, clear jelly in there. And so that is not fully mature. So we know the fiber is not fully mature. So we know that that cotton plant has not finished thickening that fiber. And so it's not, um, it's gonna be a lower micronaire fiber, so lower quality. But if it's not, if it hasn't fully thickened to that fiber, then we're also losing yield because with thickness also comes the weight. So anyway, so that is the, so that's the cut test method and the nodes above cracked bowl method. So this is not ready. And we need to wait for just a little bit longer. And so the other method is the 60% open cotton. So if 60% of the bowls in the field are open, you should be in good shape, should be, should, should be fine, ready, ready to go spray. Um, in, in, in West Texas, a lot of times I'll, I'll even use 50%. We get to 50%, I, f I feel, you know what? Um, even 40% and go cut, cut those top bowls and see what they look like. I bet you they're a little bit closer to being ready than what you think they are. So that's how to know when your cotton's mature. There's a couple other things you need to think about though before you just make that defoliation decision because there's some things that really, really help your defoliants work better. And the, the biggest one is heat. And why is that? Well, if you think about cotton, like temperature, like the baseline for everything is 60 degrees. If, if it's below 60 degrees, then the cotton plant's not growing hardly at all. So any hormone activity is probably not really doing much either. So we're, we're, we're applying a, a hormone like ethophon that'll create ethylene inside that plant. That's what causes the leaf drop and the bowl opening. If it's below 60 degrees, that's not gonna work very fast. And it may not work very well either for that matter. Matter of fact, the rate of leaf drop from ethophon at 70 degrees is twice as fast as it is at 60 degrees. So use that heat, use it to your advantage. Cotton defoliates so beautifully with warm weather, hot weather. That's your, that's your best friend. Um, spray it early, spray it, when it's, spray it when it's hot and you'll get much better leaf drop, much better defoliation, much better bowl opening. Um, if you've got a rain in the forecast, don't spray within 12 hours of a rain if you've got rain coming. So if, if, if it's gonna rain within 12 hours, that's really hard to predict, but if you don't spray if it's gonna rain in the next 12 hours. It takes about 12 hours to get most of that product into the plant to get the, the full defoliation effect that you want inside that plant. And third, because we talk about this hormone getting into that plant and causing this chain reaction, the ethylene chain reaction that causes the leaf drop and the bowl opening, it's pretty important to let that hormone activity do its work, do its job. And it's not gonna happen if that plant's dead. So what I mean is, if you want that hormone activity, if you want that defoliant to work in that plant, spray it at least seven days before a freeze. If you're waiting until there's a freeze in the seven day forecast, you're not gonna get all your money's worth out of that defoliant like the guy that's ahead of the game and maybe spraying a few days earlier. So spray as early as that cotton is ready. That's your take home message for today. Spray as soon as that cotton is mature. So we've taught you how to know when that cotton's mature today. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna talk about how to get the most bang for your buck when you're defoliating. We're gonna look at some different treatments I made. We're gonna talk about what, what's working maybe better. 
and how to make all those products work better. Thanks for watching. I'm Jonathan Folsom for Winfield United. Thank you for your business.